Hey, welcome back everybody. This is going to be uh, a three blueprint video, uh, starting with this fantastic looking uh, reinforced plate one. So yeah, we're into the more technical side now. So we start off, and by the way, this needs 270 input. So we need to max out our ingots coming in for this one. Uh, this side doesn't. If you put 270 in, you got 145 out. So it, that requires 125 on that side, and this does require 270. So we'll we'll get a bit more on that a little later. So let's look what we've got in this uh, RIP. So we got usual sort of see-through floor, very nice. So yeah, on this side, this is where we need the 270 because we've got uh, 50 ingots, uh, 50 iron plates and 40 iron plates. So that's 90 iron plates. Uh, so we need 270 for that. And this is, uh, by the way, you need cast screw for this. So this is very important. So we've got to get that alternative recipe over this one, unfortunately. And all that's going to feed up to this sort of middle layer. So this is the logic floor for the assemblers. And that will feed into our final our floor, which is going to give our reinforced iron place 15 per minute in each... Uh, in each storage unit, so that's 30 in total. So let me show you what we've got here. So we got so we got 90 plates per assembler. Uh, and then we've got for your next. So let's uh, let's open it up. Let's see which one which one to do next. So let's take a look at the next one, which is going to be. Let's look at the rotors. Rotors is a similar setup. I've got a door here as well, which is a bit in the wrong place. So I'll remove that. I'll I'll be putting the down. Uh, the download link for uh, to pick up these blueprints and I'll make sure it's the latest version that I, that I, that I uh, store up there so again this is a similar story however it doesn't need that many it needs 125 it screws on that side so again same as cast same cast screw recipe required so you're gonna need to get that one for this as well so same amount, we need uh, 250 aside. So 125 for each sort of like uh, dual setup here. But here we've got 25 ingots for 25 iron rods and then rinse and repeat for the other three. So in other words, we need 100 effectively. Uh, iron ingots to make 100 iron rods for these rotors. So I think I'll just make that change now. And then we'll save it and then we know. So let's just change that to rather than the requires 270, which was left in from from the RIPs. And um, it just needs a hundred in that. I just thought these would be useful for you to see. You know, so you so you know for sure which which belt needs what. And you know, so it's not confusing. Let's I think we'll get rid of that as well. We'll get rid of this sign. We don't need 270 input here. We need 125 on that side and 100 on that side. So let's uh, let's save this one, and then that's uh, that's saved in the right location, and then should be it. Save blueprint, confirm. Right now, let's look at the last one. Uh, so yeah, just remember though, don't forget cast screw is what you need. Okay. I didn't look at the top, so let's 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 just go through the top bit while while I'm at it. So here's your one rotor ten aside. So that's your fifty iron rods and two hundred fifty screws. Again, cast screws um, in each one, so it gives a total of twenty. There you go. All uh, screened up as well on the storage units as. As I normally do, really for everybody's benefit. 
Right, let's look at the final blueprint. That's going to be a modular frame. Now, modular frame is is modular frame is a bit different. It doesn't require a lot. So let's look at the top first. So you got thirty iron ingots for thirty iron rods, times two and constructors, and that's it. We move a usual thing just because it's shouldn't be there in the first place so it just requires 60 in this and there's obviously nothing on that side now this time it does need 15 uh, RIPs reinforced iron plates so we have to use one of our blueprints that we've just done to feed this one so and that's where it goes in so so we need to feed our RIPs in there just below the output uh, for the storage units so his sort of there's the seven and a half uh, per minute reinforced iron plates for each so that's a total of ten you don't get a lot ten modular frames you'll get out of that in total five each side so let's save that just for convenience I don't think I made any change oh yeah I did a change the door didn't I right now that beautiful building over there is is what I created to house four of these these units. So to save you the the pain of you going through what I did for build these, because obviously it takes a long time. Let me show you what I did for the inputs. So what I needed to have was five uh, sort of streams coming in, you know. Uh, of iron ingots so um, I've got these set up over here so we've got three coming in there and there's a copper one as well but I've not fired that one off yet so those three all firing at 270 parts per minute this by the way is a caterium sort of mine I've just got a I've just got a, a miner sat in it right now doing nothing and then the other three uh, streams are coming in from here. And there's, rather than, because these three are together, I just built this bespoke one massive building just to house all three. So we got all three maximized to 200 cent per minute. And that feeds our usual, almost usual, smelters. I say almost usual. I've just got this building coming out from here. And above ground this time just to feed these. And when I say it's almost the same, I mean, they're not 240 um, inputs. They're actually 270. So let's make that change on here first so we know exactly what we've got going in so I'll change that to 270 so that's 270 input and then two, two, 270 output obviously so we need to change that too and I'll show you what I've done on our original smelter uh, blueprint just, just to enable 270 iron ingots per minute so Let's take a look. So, how do we get 270? Well, our blueprint gives us 60 a minute on each one. And if you add another power shard, we get 75 a minute. So it's just these last two have 75. And you know it's got 75 because there is no gaps in it. Now, there's a couple of, like, you know, uh, tier 2 elevators as well on on those because we're going to be putting 75 in but let's take a look what these feed so this is this is all coming in so we got two 270s going in here yeah i've still got the old door so i've got the two 270s going each of, each of these buildings and then i've got one 170 this one here which is shared between both buildings so in other words, I can I can feed two RIPs with three 
uh, 270 uh, parts per minute. Uh, iron ores, iron cores. So basically that's where it's coming in from the 270 and then the 125 is being fed the Okay, now let's uh, take a look up top. Get the thing right. So here's here's our our input. So you can see it's 100 percent tuned here. It's, it's barely getting to six, and then it's dropping down to three three. So it shows it's 100 percent efficient on that one. And then on this side, let's take a look at this. See, this is our this is our output going into our input of the next one here. Now, if we look at this side, this this will be our modular frame. So there's there's hardly anything we're going in there, but a couple of iron rods and it's a very similar one in the next one so let's go upstairs so rather than the traditional sort of staircase i've actually done this out of uh foundations slope foundations and i've colored them all sort of black just to be a little different so let's go to the back first the back ones are, are the rrps so we can see how they're going on so we should be getting 15 a minute out of these and how we're we doing yeah yeah you can see that uh it's easily covered so we're not we're not losing anything at all though now we're actually getting more in there because we've we're practically full so we've backed up a little bit and these are the RIPs going down to feed the modular frames, by the way. So that's going out of that one and into, not into the rotor, but into this one here. So we should be, just go up and look at that. So you got seven and a half per minute. It's a hundred in it right now because we're on a 60. But we're only getting we're only getting a feed of 15 a minute so once we get these moving out on trains and we we don't have that uh you know backlog then that should pretty much get to 100 percent efficiently because it it requires seven and a half per assembler and we've got two of them so we need 15 and our building down here gets 15. so that will easily do it and this is finally iron rods are looking good for our rotors 10 per minute so we're looking pretty pretty good so that's how you can put all these things together now that should be it for this sort of like the iron side of and the copper side of the house i think the next ones i'll probably do uh for the steel so I'll put some signage up there just to make it look good. I'm going to have to add the trains. I'm going to have to make everything look good. But right now, I hope that was useful to you. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.